Hey guys, before we start this video, just going to remind you that this video is part of our All Things Apple giveaway. Click on the screen right now to be redirected to a page with more information about that. But just remember that you can like, favorite, and leave a comment on this video with All Things Apple giveaway as part of it, and you'll be entered to win an iPod Shuffle, an iPod Nano, an iPod Touch, or an iPhone 4S. On to the video. Point in this video is going to be showing you how you can get a semi-untethered jailbreak on your iOS 5 device. Now, first off, you need to do a tethered jailbreak on an iOS 5 device with red snow, and then once you have it all booted up, booted tethered, go into Cydia, and for this you're going to have to add a new source, so just ignore that upgrade for now. Uh, and that source is thebigboss.org slash semi tether and once you've added that you can just click on it and it only has one package in it right now it's called semi tether so you can go in hit install and it should bring up the install window hit confirm and it'll go through the process of installing that basically what a semi untethered jailbreak means is that you will have certain functionalities available if your device accidentally restarts like it runs out of power or something. So you can see now I'm going to have to reboot it. But basically the point of this is that you won't be totally without a device if it shuts down when you're on a tethered jailbreak. But for instance, you can't use Safari and you can't use Mail. And you can't use any of your jailbroken apps or tweaks like Cydia and stuff. And you have to be careful about the ones that are hooked into Notification Center. Because if you have something hooked into the Notification Center, that will send it into a boot loop. So you don't want that. But once you've installed it, uh, you can just go ahead and reboot the device. And every time your device reboots, if you don't boot it tethered now, it'll go into the semi-tethered state, which is better than nothing, but it still has severely limited functionality. Now, thankfully, uh, you don't really have to restart your device all that much, but it just adds a another level of security in case it does shut down sometime during the day, like you run out of battery or accidentally bump the switch. Now, the big boss is the one that developed this package and I think it can be really useful for anybody that has been holding off on the tethered jailbreak because they don't want to ruin their device but it's as simple as that and I believe we should be in the semi-tethered state now uh, you can see if we try to start Obsidia it doesn't work Safari doesn't work and Mail just sits at this screen and doesn't do anything but you can see like any other stock app works just fine, uh, boots up like you would expect it to, even messages and stuff will work, but any jailbroken stuff like iFile or SB settings, that's not going to work at all. So that's all you have to do and you just have the added level of security in case your device shuts down. Really simple, once again the repo is thebigboss.org slash semi tether, you can see that down in the description. But that's all we have for now, thanks for watching and please subscribe, don't forget to enter our All Things Apple giveaway.